What's up guys? This is the Mexican and I'm back with another fresh drinks review for you today. Um, today we're going to be going back to my roots a little bit and having a few English, well one today and there'll be a couple more coming out later. <laughs> Wink. Um, but yeah, we could get some English ales going or some English beers rather. I don't think they're all ales, but we'll see. But we're starting the first one in this series with the Shepherd Neem Spitfire Golden Ale. Um, I've had a couple of English beers before and I've always quite enjoyed them. I've never gotten around to, you know, just buying them for a laugh or just drinking them on the rig. I uh, thought I'd change things a bit. Um, yeah, this is, uh, it says it's brewed by Britain's oldest brewer. Spitfire Golden Ale is a well-balanced ale. Its sweet malt base is complemented by subtle bitterness and tropical aromas imparted by some of the world's favourite hops, including Challenger, Centennial and Sars. Um, I don't really know any of those hops either. Um, but it's 4.3 standards, uh, 4.3 alcohol, sorry, um, percent, sorry. Uh, it's 2.2 UK standard units. I don't know if that's more or less than Australia. I imagine it's probably the same um, because you'd, you'd end up with the over stickering, uh, forcing it to comply. Um, 500 mil bottle. I think it ran me about six or seven bucks at um, Dan Murphy's, but I, I got it on the 10% off if you buy three deal. Um, yeah, looking forward to looking forward to having this one a bit. Um, yeah, if, apologies if I sound a bit different or the quality of my reviews a bit down. I currently have the spicy cough. Um, yeah, uh, the second time's the charm. Uh, I thought I'd, uh, yeah, <laughs> but no better time to have some beers. I'm mostly recovered now. I started getting symptoms maybe three days ago. Um, feeling pretty, pretty, pretty all right now. I've got a bit of a blocked nose, as you can hear, and maybe a little bit of huskiness in the voice, but generally I'm okay. I'm a little bit sweaty, though. It's a warm day, but I'm unseasonably sweaty, so uh, forgive me if that shows, um, but I should be able to give it a pretty fair review. Ah, oh, that's good. That's good beer. Yeah, that's just, that's just that classic beer scent. Um, there's not too much to say about that. A little bit of sweetness on it. But yeah, that classic, that classic English lager style scent. I know it's an ale, but it smells kind of like a lager and doesn't smell like those shit Australian pubs I occasionally like it and liken it to. Um, we'll get in there and have a sip, I reckon. <sighs> yeah, that's nice. That's, uh, it does say a sweet malt base on the back of the bottle I saw. Um, so I'm not, not completely talking absolute shite. Um, that's good. That's real, real nice. I could, I could, um, I could sit on my balcony and drink a few of those, I reckon. Um, I've only got the one, but I'll enjoy this one, I reckon. <sighs> that's nice. That's nice. Nice little bit of bitterness on the back. Little, a little light and, um, watery and even fluffy on the front. Um, yeah, really, really quite satisfying. Um, Bit of a long-lasting bitterness, which I don't know that I love. Um, sorry, I'm just reading the, the, the thing on the front. I didn't read it before. Golden Ale with substance and character. <laughs> I expected one, but not both. How good are them? Um, yeah, no, it's really, really quite nice. I think the bitterness um, on the finish lasts a bit longer than I'd like. Um, you want to be, you, 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 you kind of want to balance out that sweetness. Um, still very satisfying beer, very nice cold. Oh, pardon me, I drank it too quickly. Um, yeah, all, all really, really quite satisfying. Um, bit on the pricey side, though I imagine it's fairly fair, a, a fair bit cheaper in England. Um, in, in Australia, it's uh, sold only by the bottle, so uh, yeah, bit, bit on the bit on the pricey side here. But still, if you're looking for a rare treat, this might just do it for you. But you don't want anything too heavy, like an IPA or something like that, or 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 a porter or a stout or something. Um, this and but you want to get into some English stuff. This might be just the ticket. Uh, we'll have one last sip and we'll get in for a final score. Mm. Broadside was the other English beer I had that I quite liked by Adnams. So this is um, Shepherd Neem. They do quite a fair, fair bit. So I probably shouldn't point that out. Um, yeah, all in all, really quite solid. Um, I'll give it. 7.5 out of 10. I think the bitterness um, lasts a bit longer than it needs to. Of course, someone might be really into that and that might, might be perfect for them. I don't really expect it off a golden ale. Um, you expect it to be a bit more like it is on the front of the palate, um, lighter and fluffier, um, less less of that lingering bitterness. Um, but still really, really quite nice. Um, very, very satisfying. 
Um, if you like the content, go in. Oh, so, yeah, 7.5 shepherds out of 10 memes. I've done it now. I've done the right thing. Sorry, it's, it's that COVID brain fog. Uh, if you like the content, go ahead and uh, smash that subscribe button. If you want to watch another video, it'll be broadside. Click that button right there. Once again, guys, this is The Mexican signing off.